Volunteer of the Year, sponsored by Waits. Jordan Bunny. Jordan has been actively involved in various community initiatives, including litter picking, park maintenance and local government engagement. So basically when I first started, um, I used to help um, a friend called Tracy in Shafton, just doing some general picking litter bits and bobs. Um, and then it literally grew from there and then I joined my local ward lions and then started doing more areas, picking more areas, keeping them tidy. Um, and then, uh, then I kind of got involved with Park because um, it, 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 it left for three years, there weren't any friends group or anybody. So I kind of took that responsibility on and um, started maintaining the park. Uh, I've got a small little team now that, that helped in the park and uh, recently just uh, been awarded stage two on the um, bands in bloom, improving. So. You know, again there, but uh, I first took over it and it were, it were overgrown and and then basically I'm just in am today. <laughs> well, I, I kind of like the area to look nice and tidy and I, it, for, you know, like the environmental aspect, you know, when, when, when we, we see litter strewn everywhere, it's not good for wildlife, it's not good for the environment, so I like to keep areas up tidy for that aspect um, and then for like if there's like broken glass, I like to sweep it up. It's I think for children and you know the animals that are walking on there, and you know it's 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 not nice. It's not nice to see it, and and um, I like to make sure everything's looking tidy. Um, and it's good for for my confidence. Um, cause when I first started, I wasn't a very confident person. I wouldn't really speak to anybody as such. And now when I'm out and about, people speak to me, so it's kind of built my confidence up there. Uh, I've got like a rapport with people, I know different people in the village and you know you kind of build them relationships up on the sea every day um, and then it, it's nice just to be out in fresh air than being cooked up inside, I like to be out in fresh outdoors and you know I'm out all weathers, rain, wind, snow, <laughs> I'm always out. <laughs> like, as I mentioned I, I won't really interact with people, obviously I've got autism so communication and meeting people Used to be really like, like to move from it. I used to like coming out of my comfort zone and like going areas and doing things on my own. So since I started picking litter, that's got me like more independent. So I, you know, I have to go and go to like one street and go to another street and and then I'm speaking to people when they come and speak to me. So that's gained confidence. Uh, we're on our confidence to start a conversation and not wait for them to speak to me. I can say, "Oh, are you okay?" and 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 have like a conversation with, with people. Got my time management and learning how to how to manage time scales and and then you've got like projects in part that's coming up and like we're planting bulbs and things. You got to think right, what do we need to do first? What's priority? So I kind of got a bit bit of time management and and team working because you know like I've got my only little friends group in part, so I'm learning how to um, be like a manager to the people and as helpers and, and manage the team and. I manage time scales, um, and I'm here, yeah, and uh, this is like a really big thing for me. So uh, before I want to have been, I want to have been uh, sat talking on camera, but here I am. <laughs> Martin Ackers, Martin, who survived cancer himself, is now giving back to his community by volunteering as a driver for Western Park Cancer Charity. Hello, my name's Martin Ackers. Uh, I'm a resident of Barnsley, I'm a Wordsborough lad, so I've always lived in the town. I approached you three years ago, uh, my wife saw a publication in which there was advertised um, a request for volunteer drivers for the Western Park Cancer Charity Transport Hub. Um, that had already been created in Chesterfield, that was the original charity, um, and they wanted to extend the service to Barnsley. It's since extended to Rotherham as well. Having seen this advert, my wife put it to me that that could be something I was interested in because I've always been very interested in driving, always happy to drive. Since then, I've been driving for the charity. Uh, one of the reasons why I did that is because I had my own brush uh, in 2013 with cancer, which happily the NHS got rid of through surgery alone. So I was very lucky in that respect. 
So I think that played into my mind uh, and into the decision uh, to start volunteering. Uh, essentially at that point I was working part time three days a week so I got time to do it. Uh, I elected Tuesday because that's a good day for me. It's one, I work Monday, Wednesday, Friday so Tuesday was a good day for me. And somehow it appears that I've become the Tuesday driver uh, in, on the rotor of 10 drivers uh, who are all Barsley people who volunteer to run uh, patients backwards and forwards from Barsley to the three Sheffield hospitals, predominantly Western Park, for cancer treatment of whatever radiotherapy or chemotherapy or even follow-up visits. Um, even therapies at the Cancer Charities Hub further down the road, um, which, is, which is offered as follow-up to their cancer treatment. I am always amazed and surprised by the positivity of the people, the patients using the service. Uh, going through a dark time in their lives, a very difficult time, including with the partners, because sometimes the partners travel when there's room on the bus to support them and to see what's happening. Um, and it's incredible how the positivity seems to spread through. So many people might think this will be a miserable existence, a miserable journey to Sheffield, but it never is. It inver invariably never is. It's always positive, humorous, gold radio on the, on the radio, people reminiscing about music. So that's why I do it. And that's why I believe the other nine drivers involved in this um, volunteering work do it because of the satisfaction that we derive from it personally. Andrew Fowler. Camaraderie has inspired veteran Andrew to overcome his own issues as he volunteers countless hours a week to support those struggling to adapt back to civilian life. Uh, what I do is befriending stroke counselling um, plus I do gardening for elderly oh, but with mental health problems I try and get them out at house to help me as it's therapeutic for them. When I come out to army um, I went off the rails myself and yeah well I hadn't heard of Safa before but uh, somebody gave me a lead on to him yeah and they gave me a break yeah just volunteering there uh, gave me some purpose in life. It's run by volunteers yeah, we're down at the Army Barracks on Wakefield Road. They're all volunteers, no paid staff. And they do a phenomenal job, not just me, all caseworkers, it's a team, yeah. Well, the veterans uh, seem to have trouble adapting, and like myself, we help them uh, back into society. Yeah, and we help them with anything they want, money, financial problems, uh, electrical goods and the people just they just can't cope go on drinking drugs it's a been in the army and it's honestly it's the it's like it's like a, it is like a cancer and right, you know. uh, but I do it honestly I do it for the honestly because it does me good I've been through it I've got that knowledge and I know where, I know where they are yeah, no, yeah, when they go to drinking drugs, uh, it turns my stomach. Well, because they're irrational thinking and, yeah, I've seen people pass away and, yeah, you know, commit suicide and, yeah. All they, you know, like, if they get creative, get out, do things, it's, that's therapy. You know I mean, it's so simple to us, yeah, and like you all, that's so simple, but, you know, you know, I've been there myself. You come out, you're lost, and that's what he's adapting. It's getting more there now. Because we're there, yeah, they're getting to realise it and, yeah.